So just some of the things that you experience as a foreigner in China. You get invited to random events. Just because you're a foreigner, we've been asked by the city foreign affairs officer to come to an award ceremony to present awards to students that are not ours for what we don't know. Hello, my hair looks like this because it's so humid all the time and I'm trying to keep it curled so this is a temporary thing. But today is our school's third day of celebrating their birthday. They also gifted each teacher with a full-on duck. Quack, quack. <laughs> <laughs> so we got some gifts for our anniversary. <laughs> Happy holiday. We got a tie. Happy holiday. Happy holiday. What else did we get? We got a good looking polo. Okay. What's that? Oh, a water oh. bottle. Water bottle. And we got a tote. That says our school. I don't have it facing the right way. There we go. There we go. What's in the black box? It's a tie. Oh yeah, let's send it over now. It's October holiday. Party and party and yeah. <laughs> Students have gone home for the week. We finished our performance. Everyone did great. Now we are going to go eat, dine in. This is our first time dining in. On our own. On our own. So. We're going to go back to that same noodle place and hope that they're open this time. If they're not, I'll cry. <laughs> Molly will cry. Yeah. Guess what? Molly needs to cry. <laughs> it's closed. We are going to head into Chengdu and just spend the whole day there and we're really excited just because every time we have been to Chengdu it's been for legal purposes or documents. Hopefully this will kind of, you know, change things up with uh, what we know of the city. We're going to take a train there and just see a different side of it. Oh, I'm missing home Nothing but the cash and the wallet I own If you're the pop from your iPhone Time is sticking in my money on the phone And you could live in the rain Lucky everybody's living the same So, we <laughs> found a leaf And also, our train ride was only 20 minutes So in the past, when we go to Chengdu, it's like an hour drive So it's really nice to have a high-speed train and access to the subway system. What do you think of our subways? Uh, much cleaner. No rats. Or they have bathrooms. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> and they have that protective door to make sure that no one gets pushed or jumps. Mm -hmm. And like you said, there are no suspicious puddles or liquids. It's 10 out of 10 experience. <laughs> New York really uh, lowered our standards for <laughs> these kinds of things and now we can appreciate them. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I have.
high-speed train because we need 48-hour COVID tests and now there are taxi drivers yelling at us telling us they can take us home. I'm so confused. An hour drive, here we go. They are waiting to look at these people. Yeah. Three taxi drivers just came up to us and we're leaning over our shoulder and being like, like where, where are you, you trying to go? We'll take you home. We'll take you home. I miss my taser. <laughs> <laughs> Life's on the upper end, God bless you here In our house, I miss the most I walk it up and down, girl I know It's Tuesday of October break And we're going to go to the mall! Chinese malls are so much better than American malls So I'm very excited Best dad ever But we're excited Some intros, life don't care Cause there's no one thing how to order. I just ordered this ginormous cup. <laughs> it's a slushy though, that's what we wanted. This is like a big bowl. <laughs> And mall number two, so we have two malls right across from each other. This one's a lot tighter, the other one's really, really wide. <laughs> Today's gonna be a pretty chill day. We're gonna go grocery shopping, so gonna show you guys what that is like. For the most part, we order everything on Taobao, like non-perishables, some perishables, you've ordered butter. So she gets her butter from Taobao and it comes in like a really fancy package with dry ice and all of that. There's also a Taobao similar grocery app. It's like laid out almost the exact same and that's how we get our groceries. That place is called RT Mart. Other than that, to get fresh fruits and vegetables, we go to the produce market, which is right next to our COVID testing site. So we're gonna hit two birds with one stone today and it's a little rainy. We usually go to the produce market once a week. It's always a fun time because it's very fast paced and they speak really quickly and in the, a very strong dialect. So sometimes it's a little hard to understand. All right, COVID tests are done. Now we can go to the market. Yay, stressful time. Now the vegetable section. Meat is over there. They scare me. So how we pay is 
you don't even need a wallet anywhere you go. You just need your phone and you just scan each vendor's WeChat code, put in the number that they tell you to, and it goes directly to their account. So it's very easy to buy things here. This market also has bosses and lots of kinds of like mantle and quadrant and all of that, all the good stuff. It is almost lunchtime, so we may also get some of that. And that is how we get our vegetables and other things. So we are visiting a plant shop here on our own, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Moms now. Yeah, we are. They pot it for you too, which is really nice. So excited. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm cutting the sound out of that. There are black bears, but I've never been able to see them, so let's see if today's our lucky day. I don't know where he is. Shop time. <laughs> <laughs> 